Get ready guys, because we're gonna be transforming this apartment from this to this. Hey guys, Lucy here from Hunting for George. I've got a really fun apartment makeover for you today. Fun because there is no DIY involved in this one. So we're not gonna be painting or sanding floors or tearing anything down. I'm simply gonna be transforming this space with furniture and decor. Plus, it's an apartment. So I've got a smaller space to work with and the new owners basically gave me the keys and said, Lucy, we loved everything you did in your home. Can you bring that same style into this smaller apartment? And you know what? Challenge accepted. Okay, got the keys. We're gonna see what we're working with. Alrighty. In you pop. All right, so this is a really, look, this is a good size space. Yes, it's smaller, but this I can work with. It's very clean and neutral color palette, which I really like. This is a lovely white marble. There's lots of nice light timber accents in the entertainment unit and brass, which is nice. It's not too sort of overpowering, so. This is good, I can work with this. So the owners have said they really, 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 really want a dining table, like a proper dining table for six. So I think we can definitely do that. What I would suggest, because obviously we've got this sort of nook of a kitchen, I reckon we could probably fit a dining table here. Obviously I'll measure up and see what we can get away with, but It'll kind of act almost like an island bench because it'll give that extra kind of surface area, but it will create a nice cozy zone, which, you know, you walk in and as long as there's a nice sort of hallway entrance, I think that'll be good. That'll create a nice kitchen and dining zone. And then here, so obviously we've got an inbuilt entertainment unit. So it would make sense for the couch to be here. I'm probably gonna go as big as I can because I think you've got to be generous with the couch, really. I want to make sure it's a nice, cozy space. We've got to do something about the echo. So a rug needs to go down here and a rug is going to be really helpful to zone this area, this living space. We'll need some coffee tables. It'd be really nice to bring some circles in because I feel like there's a lot of rectangles going on at the moment. So, and plus with the couch, I think some circles in the coffee tables are going to work really well. I'll do something here. I don't know what, but the TV obviously is gonna go here. So I might try and create a nice focal point. So you're not necessarily just staring at a black box. Oh, oh my goodness. How good is this? Oh, I love these doors. This is a really good outdoor space. What I might do out here, we just need somewhere to like chill out, or like another living area, because it is smaller there. So I like the fact that you can kind of come outside and have a drink out here. I think we're probably gonna need a Barbie. This needs to be the social party zone, but you know, within reason, we're not gonna go crazy. And I think these, oh look, these are nice, these, um, this frame, but they are very heavy. So I think maybe these sliding doors would be really nice to do some soft curtains. Maybe just shears, because these are actually tinted. So you don't really sort of need any blinds in here, but I only want them to kind of open up to one side because there's no point in them opening up to there because otherwise that's going to close in the space and make it a bit too small. So yeah, I think this is gonna be our living area, come dining room, very minimal. I need to make it cozier, I need to kill the echo, and I need to make it feel a little bit more like home. Okay, so this is the smaller of the two bedrooms, which I've been asked to transform into a home office, so, I mean, this room's carpeted for one, so that's always good with the echo, there isn't any. We've got big windows here, but we've got this kind of frosted glass, which I'm not a massive fan of, but I think what we can do there to kind of pretty up the window area is probably bring in maybe some block outs, but I think even again shears. I think the thing with this room is that it's just a bit kind of flat. 
So I think we need to bring in a bit more texture and um, sheer curtains will kind of really help to make it feel a bit more kind of cozy and scrumptious. Just looking at the power, we've got PowerPoint situations well, on either side, so it's actually quite handy. But because we've got this lower kind of indent here with the down lights, I think a table would be really good here because it's kind of a really good space. You've got a lot of lighting. Because you've got more height over here, maybe we'll go bookcase. So we can actually have lots of books on display. I have been told they've got lots of cookbooks that they need to put on display. So style it up, make it a little something something. I think this will be a really nice, simple room. It's small, so I want to keep it quite minimal to make sure I don't over clutter. Okay, all right. So this is the master bedroom, which this is a bigger size and already, I mean, it's pretty evident where the bed's gonna go because we've got these two power points here. So it's basically set up, ready to go. So what I might do in this space is just bring a nice bed head in actually to kind of create a bit of a focal point because I think that's what it's missing here. It's got this indent, so it's got a lower bit of the ceiling. So it'd be interesting once the bed head goes in, I'll work out if it needs artwork or not it might not need it i mean it's a really good room i just need to work out what sort of colors and tones i bring into this space this needs to be very calm it's the master bedroom it needs to be very much kind of the retreat that's what i'm going to do in here oh hello walk-in robe very nice cavity door oh i love this and the sensor lighting as well oh this is beautiful oh my gosh this is a seriously nice ensuite i love the color palette in here. And I love the fact that I don't need to renovate. I don't have to do anything in here. I literally just need to bring in some towels and some soap and we're good to go. This will help with the relaxing retreat feel already. Okay, so before I actually pick decor for this space, I am going to measure. That is probably my number one tip for anyone changing up their space. Make sure that you measure so you know what you're working with so you can choose exactly the right size pieces for your space. Awesome, which means I can probably fit a two by three meter rug in there. I can have a three by two, which means... This is, I guess, our natural line here. Obviously, the fridge is gonna go here. If the fridge is gonna go there, you need to be able to open a fridge, access the fridge without getting too close to it. And also, you don't really want it coming into, essentially, your hallway. Even though it's a smaller hallway, it's still a hallway. Okay, cool. So I've got all the measurements I need. I have taken a lot of photos on my phone, a lot of video as well. So I've got a really good feeling for the space and I think I've got a pretty good idea about what this apartment needs. So I need to order some furniture, order some specific pieces for this space. I've got to figure out exactly the right vibe though. So I'm gonna go home, figure that out, get some orders in and the next time I'm back here, it's go time. Okay, so back home, I've got my measurements and now it is time to make a plan for this apartment makeover. So the first thing that I always like to do before I start any project is to actually understand what I'm trying to achieve. So what is my style going to be? What's my color palette? Uh, for this particular apartment, the owners have said that they like my style. They are an older couple, so I think I might make sure that it's a nice classic take on my style, make sure it's sophisticated and timeless. If you're stuck, for inspiration and you want to know kind of what style you're aiming for and you're not quite sure, a good place to start would be jumping on Instagram or Pinterest and just trying to find some really good visual cues. If you just start pinning some images, um, don't overthink it, just start pinning things that you like and then maybe take a look at what you've got and you might start to see a bit of a pattern. You might realize you're actually quite drawn to you know, minimal interiors. Maybe you're drawn to monochromatic vibes or maybe light coastal timbers and with lots of texture. So maybe you're more bohemian. You know, you might start to see what you are and what you want to create. So that is my first tip. 
figure out what style you want to create and then you've actually got a color palette and a material palette to work from. But what I need to do now is figure out decor and furniture. This is a stressful part for a lot of people because people don't actually know where to start. So my biggest tip when it comes to buying furniture and decor is don't stress about the decor side first. Just start with your big items first. So the couch, the rug, the tables, you know, the beds, uh, those are the bigger pieces. You wanna make sure that they fit and then you just wanna work down from there. So don't get too overwhelmed with figuring out how everything has to look. Just start with the big stuff first and then work down from there. So I'm actually gonna be looking for a couch for the living area. I need a rug, I need coffee tables, I need to find a TV, I need to get a dining table, I need to get probably a bed head. There's a lot of stuff I need to get. Oh, also I need to find a desk for that second bedroom area as well. It's gonna become a home office. So I've got a little bit of work to do. So I've got some shopping to do. I'm gonna do my favorite type of shopping on the couch with my phone. And basically I'm just gonna get some orders in and lock in some delivery dates so we can get cracking. They add such a lovely texture to this space and they really soften it. And all of the furniture is in, which is exciting. So today is the fun bit. We actually get to style, but I'm really happy with the size and all the proportions that we did here. So I chose a couch from Globe West and coffee tables. And Globe West, I've worked with them for years. Uh, so I knew exactly what I was getting, especially this couch. It's a lovely, nice deep pouch. It's a really good size and I think this is fantastic because of its reflective mirrored surface. I absolutely love this. Bit of a gamble because it is out there, but I just think it just amplifies this space. And because it is a smaller space, I really wanted to get a mirrored texture in here because it just kind of reflects and it just makes it feel bigger and more ambient. And so I think it goes really nicely with its little matching side table as well with the marble, which links into the marble in the kitchen. And I'm really happy. It's really satisfying <laughs> when you kind of choose things that actually work really well. And the rug as well this works nicely because this is a natural tone so these floorboards are really interesting because they are quite an earthy brown timber and usually I'm used to probably in our house I've got a lot of floorboards so I wanted to kind of pick up on some of those earthy tones in the timber so the jute rug works really well and that's actually from milk and sugar so today it's the fun bit it's styling. So I get to basically create a bit of a look and a feel. I want to make sure I've got the right kind of proportions and balance. Um, when it comes to balance, it's all about different heights, different textures, uh, lots of layering. So that's kind of what I'm gonna be doing today. And speaking of which, height, I want to put artwork on this wall. It's begging for it. So Jono, I'm gonna need your help because it's quite big. All right, let's Should we have a crack? Up. Yeah, let's do it. Okay, so we are hanging a combination of both large and small artwork in this apartment. For the large artwork, we're gonna be using picture hooks. So these are a great way uh, to, for minimal damage basically for your walls and really good for plaster walls. So you're only banging a nail in, so it just leaves a little pinhole. Um, but for some of the smaller artwork that we're putting up, that's a lot lighter. So I'm actually just gonna use 3M hooks because that literally leaves no damage. So that's a really good tip if you are renting. Uh, for this one here, uh, 
there's this really random PowerPoint on the wall and I just don't like it. It's really high and it's really in your eyesight. So I'm actually going to hang this artwork over it and hide it. Genius. PowerPoint be gone. Oh my God, I love the colors in this artwork. I like those, very cute. So this is actually starting to look really good. We've actually got an office, which is fantastic. We've got the R8 desk from Baseline Furniture. These guys are amazing. I reached out to them because they did our dining table, which I've also put in this apartment, but I've done a small version. This is my new favorite thing in the world, this incredible Cicla chair with a polstered seat pad like that wraps around the entire frame. Oh my God, it's so comfy. It's got this really nice um, armrest too. So you're very like boss, it's very boss in here. So what I need to do is obviously style up a little bit. I'm not gonna go overboard because I want to make sure that there's space for them to bring in what they need so they can actually set up their own um, office. But this is, to be honest, these windows, I mean, it's such a small room, but these curtains, in fact, have gone all the way across, look so, so good. So you can see a little cheeky track because obviously it's got this indent, but I really like the fact that it goes the full width because I just wasn't vibing this. So I think it's nice to be able to kind of soften it and choose to kind of have more light in or just shut it away. Do you know what? I love books for a styling prop. They are like the best thing to bring in color and typography and just personality, basically. So with this bookcase, I've actually styled it so that the spines are pointing towards the door. So they're the first thing that you see when you walk into this room, but then as you move around, it slowly reveals itself and the spines are the other way, facing inward. So little styling hack, use your spines because they bring in lots of personality into your space. So this is actually the furnace barbecue by Everdure, which is a barbecue designed in collaboration with Hessen Blumenthal. And I wanted to bring this out here because the owners are foodies and it is a relatively small kitchen. So I thought let's give them a double kitchen area and a double living space as well. So this is actually quite big. It takes up quite a large amount of space in this balcony, but it ha has just fit <laughs> luckily uh, because I chose this incredible setting again from baseline. So this is called the Samurai and I am 100% obsessed with this. So it has a two seater, it has a chair, it has a table, but it's all interconnectable. So you can actually do whatever you want. You can make L shapes or whatever. This is getting there. All I'm gonna do is probably bring out some herbs, bring some more greenery here. I think it's nice to have herbs on the balcony and maybe some drinks and then this is done. So the entertainment's arrived. <laughs> Very lucky because Sony have gifted the owners of this brand new apartment, this incredible TV and sound bar. Very lucky indeed. Thank you very much, Sony. I actually chose this particular model because of its sort of slimline design. I really like the fact that it's very discreet and the sound bar tucks neatly underneath it, which I think is quite nice. So it's sort of all self-contained. Obviously you don't have to actually have it standing. You can actually wall mount it. I didn't want to do that on this occasion because this isn't my house and I didn't want to go banging things into walls and making big holes. Um, so the owners could do that if they wanted to. However, I actually like the fact that it's standing on this marble entertainment unit. However, the only thing with televisions in interiors, they're kind of a bugbear of mine because I love TV, like I love television. It's very important in the living room, but they don't look great because they are just black boxes. And this one looks better than most, but still, it's still just a big black space. So what I'm going to do is push it off center and then I'm going to bring in a different focal point. So the idea around that is that your eye draws its attention to the beautiful focal point and not necessarily on the TV. You only look at the TV when you need to. Oh my God, I love these flowers. <laughs> These arrived this morning and can I just say this is the best damn focal point I've ever seen. Like this is what I mean by you've got your TV there but this is very much 
attracting your attention rather than what's happening over here. Uh, I love them, I like the height. So I really wanted this height to kind of take your eye up. Uh, and these are everlasting. So the great thing about everlasting is that they're everlasting. So they're dried flowers, so you don't need to water them and they're always going to look beautiful. These particular ones are from Tori Allen Events. This is her new business, Positive Parcels. I think this is something very special that the owners can hold on to forever. And I just, honestly, it just really elevates the space and lifts the tone. How nice is that? Home stretch, now it's the fun bit. I'm just gonna fill it. It's styling time. Fill the gaps, bring texture in, layer, 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 and we're all done. Bit. <laughs> the the final bit touch. Here. I think we're done. Have we done? Are we finished? Yeah, looks done to me. I'm done. Okay, so the challenge was to basically take my style from home and to bring it into a smaller two bedroom apartment. And can I just say, I think I nailed it. I absolutely love the transformation of this space. So we were working with a smaller space. So what I was very nervous about was bringing a table into this area because I just didn't know if it was big enough. However, I spoke with Baseline uh, and I basically just said, can you please make me a record table the same as mine, but just a bit smaller? And they said, yes, Lucy, of course we can. So this is actually the smallest version. It's a 1.6 meter and this actually fits six chairs. However, when you have six chairs in it, they don't sort of tuck in as nicely, so they're not, not as neat and they're less sort of space saving. So they sort of sit out a little bit. It's seat six, but for the most part, you know, I think having four chairs at your table is more than enough. And also there's only two people living here. So I think four is really nice. And the other two chairs, I've actually just used them as occasional chairs in the other room. So they're here, they're in the home and when the owners want to have six people sitting at the table, they can just grab them. So I'm happy that I was able to create a dining area and the living room, I've been able to create a bit of a zone through using the rug. So this is a two by three rug. This is from Milk and Sugar. And this is just a really nice natural tone which picks up on the floorboards and it really warms up this space. I just love this living room. Like it is just so cozy and it's such a nice environment. I love the size of the coffee tables and the size of this artwork is sensational. So this is a photograph from Claire Pecan. So she's a Melbourne photographer. The texture of the frame is really interesting. It's, it's kind of like a natural grain, like it's quite dark stain, but you can see a lot of that natural grain of the timber, which I think helps to kind of bring a bit of organic texture to the space, which of course the plants do as well. So plants, flowers, timbers, they all help to bring a lot of kind of warmth into your home. But I've got to say the showstopper of this space, 100% the sheer curtains from DIY Blinds. So I love that they basically turned what was essentially just a plain box into a very cozy, welcoming cocoon. So, and not to mention, they are motorized. So. I absolutely love that. And it also means that when you're sitting here, we've brought in an additional living space outside so you can actually see out. And so if you have lots of people around, you can simply open up your doors and all of a sudden, you've got a big party pack. Ah, 
I love the fact that we've just extended this living space out here. Oh my God, this furniture is so comfy and so like not what you expect outdoor furniture to be either. I think this is a really nice solution because you can sit, still sit outside, you can still eat, you can still drink, but it's not kind of this sort of formal sitting at a table business because we've got the table just over there. So I didn't think it was necessary to have an outdoor table. I thought this was far more inviting and a better use of space. I've popped some herbs here, which I thought was a nice little touch. And um, well, basically, look at this huge barbecue. So we've basically got two kitchens, two living rooms, and I think this is a really good use of space. And on a summer's day, I mean, I just have this open, the breeze is coming through, then all the curtains will start to billow and wave. Okay. So the second bedroom, which I've turned into a home office, this is the smallest room and the room that I was actually most nervous about as well because I didn't want to put too much in here, uh, but at the same time, I wanted to give it a lot of personality. And I think we've managed to do that really well. I love the simplicity and the calmness of this desk space. I haven't gone too over the top. I just think it's a really simple, minimal and productive space to work. So I think that they're gonna love this. And the fact that this chair is so comfy, it's an amazing comfy chair to sit at all day. Uh, the curtains obviously help again in every single room. They just help to soften the space. And the other thing I've done to soften the space is just bring in plants basically and leaves because it just kind of helps take the edge off a little bit. So I've popped some up here. It's nice to soften corners of edges if you just kind of want to bring some kind of personality to the space. And I've popped it in here as well. So with the styling of the bookcase, this is all of the owner's books, which I was like, they said they had quite a few of them. So I was like, all right, give them to me and I'll figure them out. <laughs> so it's a very full bookcase, but it's good to kind of mix it around and pop in maybe some photo frames, some plants, some vases and vessels or candles, just to kind of break it up so it's not so intense. Yet I love the color and pattern and the typography that you get when you're styling with books. And also another good style tip as well, cause this is a small room, I've just popped a mirror here because it just helps to kind of bounce off the reflection, enhances the space and makes it just feel a little bit bigger than it actually is. Last but not least, the master bedroom. Oh, I love this master bedroom. I just think it's so peaceful in here. And to be honest, I wanted to keep it very minimal and I really wanted to create, I guess, a really, an incredible feeling of just a cozy retreat. You know, I wanted them to kind of walk into this room and kind of just drift off into their own space. And that's exactly what we've done. The sheer curtains again, I mean, they just help to soften this space and they really do create a lovely cozy environment. There's a lot of texture going on in this room. We've got linens and cottons on the bed, which I've styled up a very minimal color palette, which I really like. It's just lots of grays, whites, um, and I've also got that darker sort of charcoal in the bed head, which has worked really well. So this bed head is from Globe West. I like the fact that it's very neutral on the bed. To be honest, I was umming and ahhing about whether or not to go artwork above the bed, but because it is a smaller um, kind of height, you know, it's not an expansive space. I, I, I decided I didn't want to put anything there to kind of make it look any smaller than it is. So instead, I've brought in these incredible everlasting. So to reflect what we did in the living room, and these just add that extra bit of height. And so I really like the fact that they kind of bring your eye up and around and they really sort of, create this lovely cozy zone and they go really nicely with these side tables as well. This is actually from Brossa and I chose these because they were a really good size, but also I wanted timber in this space because I wanted to bring in some more warmth. These table lamps, these are actually from Milk and Sugar. So these are lovely because they have that brass detailing as well, which matches the fixtures and fittings around the home. This is the dining chair. So like I said, I've got a couple of chairs used as occasional chairs around the home. So if they need six people for dinner, they can grab them. But for the most part, it serves as a really nice occasional chair in the corner. And on the wall, we've got a Claire Pecan. So the same photographer that we featured in the living room. I, I just adore this room, to be honest with you. And I just hope that they walk in here and just fall in love. Our work here is done. 
I think we've done an incredible job. I, I really hope they love it, but I've got one more surprise for them. Very important when you've got a new home. Bit of champers. <sighs> now we're done. Hey guys, thanks for watching. I really hope you enjoyed this apartment makeover. I had a lot of fun transforming it and I'd love to know what you think. So leave me a comment below. And if you want any more info on everything we used in this apartment, then hit the link below. The, all the information is on the Hunting for George website and make sure you like and subscribe because we've got plenty more videos coming your way. Finito! Finito! Tan 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 t